In the 12-odd months, since its late 2020 introduction, the reimagined second-generation, Nissan Juke, has helped Nissan's wider model range transition out of darker ages and into a more contemporary, appealing, and contemporary space. There are some obvious things to like. Against its predecessor, the Gen 2 Juke, is more stylish and more mature is look and fundamental appeal. The grown-up design is matched with more advanced CMFB platform underpinnings, and to date, it's proven to be a more spirited handler than the funky, if one-dimensional first generation. Then there's execution. The new Duke is simply more solid and significant in feel and vibe. It's more substantial and conspicuously more elaborate in material use, and some of the range's color combination choices are fun to behold. Inside, the Nissan Duke's cabin is more upmarket and offers far more opportunities to personalize it to your taste. There's also a new infotainment system made up of an 8-inch touchscreen and menu shortcut buttons on all but entry-level cars and comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and even Google Assistant. It's a marked improvement on what went before, but Skoda and VW still have the edge with their more intuitive systems. Like the old model, two adults will be fine in the front seats, and there's just about enough space behind for two, providing they aren't over six feet tall. The new Nissan Juke has a bigger boot than the old Model 2, but a VW T-Cross is roomier. There's just one engine for now, a 1.0-liter, three-cylinder petrol with 117 horsepower. A six-speed manual gearbox is standard, but you can fork out for a slick seven-speed dual-clutch gearbox. There's no option to add all-wheel drive. The Nissan Juke's engine feels strong enough around town, but does feel a little labored when sprinting down motorway slip roads and overtaking at higher speeds. There are three driving modes, Eco, Standard and Sport, and the Duke feels liveliest in the latter, although you'd never call it quick or sporty. The Duke also feels pretty stiff over lumps and bumps in town, especially when fitted with the range largest 19-inch wheels. Things do get better on the motorway, but a Toyota CHR is still more relaxing to travel in for long periods. Thanks for watching and give your comments below.